There's a lot of hype about the flipped classroom. A lot of people are talking about the flipped classroom and how it can revolutionize and change classrooms. And you know what? I think they're right. You see, when I was a student, when I was a kid, I'm 49 years old, so when I was a student, uh, I found information in, in a number of places. I could find it either in the heads of my teachers, I could find it in the libraries, and I could find it in textbooks. But we live in a fundamentally different world, right? In this world, all you need to do is pull out your iPhone, and if you pull out your iPhone, you can find information. I mean, which of you has too little information in your life, right? I mean, you don't. And so, enter the flipped classroom, an answer that will help us reinvent the classroom. So, this is something I want to kind of encourage you to think about as you think about the flipped classroom. And it's this question, what is the best use of your face-to-face -face class time or of your teacher's face-to-face -face class time? Is it them standing up and delivering content as the content experts, as the lecturer? I would argue that's not the best answer. You see, flipped learning or the flipped classroom is we move the direct instruction from the group and we move it to the individual space. I still believe in direct instruction, but I think the place for it is in the small I individual. I want to encourage you guys at Highland ISD to um, really think about how to implement the flipped classroom. You guys are in elementary school. I'm standing right now at our school, which is an elementary school. And um, it's a K-8 school. And in our school, um, we're seeing a lot of teachers begin the process of the flipped classroom. So I want to encourage you to think it through and answer that question. What is the best use of your face-to-face -face class time?